Only promise me one thing. Don't take me home until I'm drunk. Welcome to Lisbon. Hello. Hello, Welcome friends. Hi. This is the view from our Airbnb. It is so beautiful. We came to a breakfast spot called Deer Breakfast. It was very recommended, and the food looks amazing. And I got some scrambled eggs. It's yummy. Tess got an egg, eggs Benedict. Egg Benedict with a nice avocado smoothie. I got avocado toast, has some radish, looks good. I got an iced latte and an orange juice, and Pat got air. <laughs> this hasn't come yet. Ooh, oh, that was a really good egg you put. Look at that. Wow. It's a really good egg. Well cooked. More like a, it's like a ham. Canadian bacon. <laughs> Which is funny that places call it Canadian bacon, because it's not at all like the bacon we have. No, I know. Like we have this place right here. I'll write it out on the screen because honestly I'm gonna butcher it if I try to pronounce it but it's like the very famous lookout in Lisbon and it's so beautiful. It has really nice tiles everywhere. There's lots of people so I'm gonna try to get some shots. I don't really get many people in it but it's stunning. Dan being such a good helper. Like these, these like old mm. Oh, this is really pretty. <laughs> so this is definitely a, a very awesome photo op to come here. It's beautiful just to sit and chill and look at the view, but realistically everyone here is coming here to take pictures, so. How handsome Dan looks in his purple shirt. So one thing about Lisbon, it's very hilly. Very, very hilly. It's hard to see on camera, but it's like San Francisco. Super hilly, and it, where we are now is a lot of this, like, good cobblestone, I guess? Is it not cobblestone, but like... Yeah. But guys, I'm walking in these types of heels, and it's totally fine. I'm having no issue at all. She'll update you in about three yeah, hours. <laughs> Tell me I mean, I walked all around Greece and Italy in yeah, these shoes. You're have blisters and you're no. No, and I have band-aids, so I'm fine. We're walking to a castle right now. I feel like we should get um, a bunch of coins, like exchange. Oh, I had coins at the apartment. I should have brought them. Like I should, I should break a twenty for a bunch of ones to give these people. Yeah. How pretty this is, though. This is beautiful. That. So we came to this piazza. Again, I don't know the names of everything. <laughs> but it's right by the water. It's so nice, the weather right now. It's like 22 Celsius. Really warm, the sun feels nice and warm. Damn, that's a camera. Ciao, girl. Hey, Tess Christine. Hey. How are you, sweetheart? I'm so good. <laughs> Girly pop. Girly pop. So excited to be here. Honestly, same. This was like the, one of the top of our bucket list places for a long time. It really was. So I'm really excited. I don't know if you mentioned, but it's day one. So we got a lot of stuff planned. I mean, yes, you can you're just take yes, over my blog. <laughs> okay, so welcome everybody. We're at this plaza that I do not want to uh, but pronounce the name. So it'll be written. Yeah, and we're doing a bunch of touristy fun stuff and I'm so excited about it. Do you know what they're called? Yeah, I don't know what it's called. Pastel del Nada. I'm probably not saying that right. But it's so good. It's like a cream custard tart. Yeah, Tess loves them. Yeah.
LX Factory. LX Factory. We're gonna do some vintage shopping, grab some food. Yep, yep. And we got a nice big sangria, which looks amazing. Does it taste good? Yeah, it does. Cheers. Cheers. Yummy. We're walking around LX Factory and inside there's like a bunch of shops. So they have art studios, they have a tattoo parlor, vintage stores, just like a bunch of really cool like, like masseuses. Mom and there's a masseuse? Oh, there's like cool mom and pop Upstairs shops. Was a, was a pole dancing studio for teaching. Oh wow. Tess and I got here a bit earlier. We went to get some food and some drinks. Oh, there's, yeah, that's cool. Jewelry studio where they make jewelry. And outside is all like food. Oh look, a record store, Dan. Oh. You wanna go in? We just went to that really cool lounge, like cocktail lounge bar place. Highly recommend. But yeah, now we're going for dinner. I'm excited for this place. It's supposed to be really good. And just like a nice six minute walk and it's beautiful the weather right now. Does anyone know where we're going by the way? Left. Oh. Uh, oh. I was gonna say right. <laughs> Hello. So just so y'all know, this is a trek. <laughs> there are lots of hills in Lisbon. It's honestly really nice. That booty pumping. <laughs> nice, Tess. <laughs> Lunge it. Lunge it. We're at this restaurant. We got a lemonade. And it's really good. It's basically lemon water with some syrup. And they put this dried, it looks like a blood orange. Yeah, it's probably like a burnt lemon. Oh, you're right. <laughs> good end. The menu, it's like a bunch of items that you get to share, which I really like, like tapas. I really, really like... Is it tapas? No, you're right. He's oh. Oh. It is the next day. We are actually staying at an Airbnb in Lisbon and we're going to Porto in a few days and staying in an Airbnb as well. We just love Airbnb because it's kind of like a home away from home. I like the fact that you have your own kitchen. You can all stay in the same house. Especially if you're with your friends, it's just so much more fun. And usually when we travel as a group, we always book through Airbnb. So much fun that way. But I'm gonna show you the view from our room right now. And we're heading it to a place called Sintra today. I think that's how you pronounce it. We just want to see the castles, and it's so beautiful. It's like a 40 minute train ride from Lisbon. Very excited about it. Look at this view. This is my outfit. I'm wearing this cute dress from Nothing Fits But. Arkham necklace. Uh, these are from Sabo skirt. And just simple rings. Yay! And I put my hair in this like half up situation. Cutest little Airbnb. Dan got his bike. So he's been cycling a ton. 
cute chair. It's kind of a mess, guys. We've been living in it, but it's so cute. I'll link it if you are curious to stay here. got to the grounds of Pena Palace already it's so beautiful it's very foggy today though but I think it's gonna be so nice. Super foggy, it looks cool. Hide your phone. <laughs> it's like Titanic. <laughs> Titanic. <laughs> na, na, na. <laughs> Way better than the picture. Is it really good? It's really good. I feel like you and I kind of want to try it. Oh yeah. my God. What's in there? Like it, there's cod, shrimp, there's lambs, there's shrimp. Yum. Okay, we're at spot number two, and I'm not gonna bother trying to pronounce it because I'm gonna butcher it. So it'll be on the screen. But it's really cool. Very different than the first one. Like, I don't know what the architectural inspiration would be, but we're gonna walk around. Okay. What do you think so far? I think so far it looks so beautiful. The weather is starting to get really hot, which is nice. Hello, we are heading to Kashkai today. It's a cute little beach town. Um, it's a little chilly, but the sun is so warm, so I think we'll be okay like this. I have a jacket just in case. It's cold? Not swimmable. Uh, <laughs> I mean, probably pretty cold. These were not the only ones out there. Hello, and welcome back to another day here in Porto. We just checked into our Airbnb. It is so beautiful. I'm gonna give you a little tour of the little apartment. The view is stunning. We're in a really great location and this place was not that expensive. So I'll definitely link it down below. Portugal in general is not very expensive when it comes to renting places, but 
I don't know, this is like a really great location, a really good bang for your buck, and it's stunning. Like, look at these walls. Stone. It's so nice. We're gonna head out soon for lunch. We're starving. It was about a three hour train ride here from Lisbon, and we really wanna explore Porto, and it's also very hilly. Look at this. These balconies are my favorite. This is really nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the first little bedroom. Oh, that's me. Hi. <laughs> I love these um these ones. The big lamps. Oh my god, they're so, so nice. I like a lot. Here we have the hallway. We have the first bathroom, which is Pat and Tessa's. So nice with a shower. And this Airbnb is really cute because it's kind of like a little mini hotel. We have a reception. Oh. <laughs> they um, have well, actually, they gave us water, wine, and what is that? Is that olive oil? No, it's some. It's bitter. Interesting. This is our bathroom. It's like this. Full length mirror. This is what I'm wearing. Very comfy. And this is our room. Literally a little cave. All stone. We just made it to a restaurant called um, Boa Bao. Boa Bao. Boa Bao. I, that right. I never want to pronounce things wrong, so that's why I don't. I feel like it's better to not, but I feel like I want to try. Yes. Um, but it's Boa Bao. And a lot of you guys recommended this to us when I asked for restaurant recommendations. And it was when I was in Lisbon. When we were <laughs> Tess and Dan figured out what we're gonna order because they're really good with that kind of stuff. They know what Pat and I like. <laughs> I mean, Dan and I are foodies, yes. so we take control of the order every single time. And then Alex yeah. and Pat just eat it. We and enjoy love it. it. Yeah. But we trust them. Tess is the best when it comes to finding places. Like, I. Could never. You're really good. Good job. I just, I'm like so weird about that. I'm like, I want to eat good food, you know? Yeah, but it's, it's. I'm very appreciative <laughs> of it, really much. Really much? I don't know. Spot, but it's because of you guys actually sending in the recommendation. So she booked us um, reservation far in advance to make sure we secured the spot. It's this olives. thing. Yes, it's that. Yeah. Yeah. It's this thing. Guys. Red. Uh, but that looks real good. Yummy. We got a goat cheese salad. It looks so so good with some honey fries this is the meal i don't know what it is it's basically bread with like meat and cheese a sauce and a fried egg oh, it's, yeah it's like layered with like a steak or something it's really hot really good oh i'm excited 
Out of all the food we had, we had some really good food. This restaurant by far is the best restaurant. Highly recommend. I'll have all the information below. If you're in Pico, definitely to check it out. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, no, yeah, no dirty words. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bra. Hey, there we go. Dirty as you can go. Dan got salmon and Benedict. I got salmon toast with a side of bacon. That's a nice one. Tess got a bacon and yeah. Benedict. And Patrick got a croissant. Oh, that looks real good. Oh, that really good. Bacon and eggs. Thank you. Yummy. Day here in Porto. Um, yesterday we walked around the. <laughs> and today we're seeing all like the touristy things. So certain monuments and churches. Whoa. <laughs> and churches. I didn't realize that JK Rowling actually lived here for a long time, got married here, and had her first kid here. And so there's a lot of places that remind me of Harry Potter, and I'm pretty sure she got inspired by some of Porto for her film, or her books, I should say. Look at that. Pretty cool. The first place we came to is the Cathedral of Porto, and it's so beautiful. It's like kind of high up, so it's you get cool. a nice view. But this is what you see. It's stunning. And on that way, you get the nice view. Yeah, over there, you get such a nice view. It's a beautiful day. It's like warm, it has a nice breeze. I feel like sometimes I get hot and take my jacket off and then sometimes it's windy, I put it on. It's like a really nice temperature here, which we really love. Like this is wonderful. Look at that. Harry Potter. We just came to an outdoor bar called Base, and it's really nice. There's like places to sit with bean bags. It's really pretty. Got a nice view of the city. Got some drinks. You got a beer? A super bock. Did you? Yeah. How super is it? It's very super. Oh, good. Um, gin and tani with a lime. With a lime. Refreshing. Actually, that's a lemon. Um, I don't know. It's confused. Tess got spritzy ditzy. Spritzy ditzy. <laughs> I like when there's a good fizz. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So it's our last evening in Porto, and we wanted to do a sunset cruise. But it looks like it's gonna rain. But it looks like it's gonna rain, and we couldn't change. Like, it was sunny today, and then it just took a turn. I mean, if we could have done it yesterday, that would have been awesome. But. I know, we shouldn't think about it. So, it's fine. We're still going to go on a boat. It's going to be fun. We're going to bring some wine. We're going to get some ports, have some snacks. Great. We get to put on our little comfies. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at the footwork. We're busting out our layers to be warm. <laughs> Tess is like, this is exactly how I looked at the airport. <laughs> it's comfy and it's cute. Yeah. Okay, we made it to the boats. I see a little bit of sun peeking through, so that would be really cool. But we're supposed to get on, this is our place, D, and so it's gonna be one of these boats over here. But it's actually not too cold, it's quite warm. 
and I think it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> okay, we're on the boat. The water's not we're bad. On the, we're on the boat. Should be all right. Tess and I secured the bean bags. <laughs> I love it. And this is our current view. How nice is this? Here's to the good days. Here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the 